So, Mike, we know that this mission will bring us face to face with the sun. It all seems very scary. It looks hot from here. I'm not even touching it. <laughs> Indeed, Sean. And this is 150 million kilometers from the Earth. So it really is an incredible journey that this probe is going to undertake. And guess what, Shahan? It is little bigger than the average Hyundai gets. This is really the size of this probe which is going into space. It's, it's basically a, a small car, really, which is blasting off from Florida in the United States. And how is it going to work, Shahan? Well, it'll take off from the Earth, and as you mentioned, it is going to do effectively 24 orbits around the Sun. The problem, though, Sean, is when you're traveling in space at such speeds, it's very easy to lose direction. You can really go off kilter quite quickly. So you see that second planet over there, that's Venus, and it's going to be using Venus and its gravitational pull, Sean, basically to make sure that it stays on track. So really think of Venus as uh, the probe's GPS, helping it to keep its direction and making sure that it goes on towards the sun. The physics of all of this really is uh, fascinating, Sean. But here's an actual photo of the probe itself. You'll see there, that's the shell of the rocket, which is going to propel it to the sun. But the probe itself really is quite small. And for a small structure, Sean, it is going to be moving at an incredible speed. Once it reaches the orbit of the sun, 680,000 kilometers wow. an hour. It is absolutely incredible. And just to give you some idea of how close it's going to be, 6 million kilometers from the sun, Shahar. Now that might sound like a big distance, but really in space terms, it's actually quite small. And we're just going to illustrate that a little bit, Sean, with our tape measure. So let's say that we've shrunk the distance from the Earth to the Sun. We've taken those 150 million kilometers and we've shrunk it down to one meter, Sean. If, mm -hmm. you, just, if you just let go over there, I'm going to show you that the probe is going to travel all this distance and it's going to get four centimeters from the sun's surface. So effectively, six million kilometers in the broader scheme of things, absolutely nothing, Sean. And I know you've got this question because it's an obvious and an important one. How is it going to deal with all the heat from yeah. the sun? Well, 11.4 centimeters if we stick with our tape measure theme, Sean, it's going to have a shield around it, which is 11.4 centimeters thick. That is absolutely nothing. But NASA has been telling us that the materials in that shield are incredibly robust, really, really strong. They can withstand uh, crazy temperatures. So uh, fingers crossed it doesn't get burnt as it heads <laughs> towards the sun. Temperatures, Shahan, it's going to be exposed to uh, temperatures as high as 1,377 degrees Celsius. Just to give you some context, if you've ever burnt yourself while maybe boiling the kettle for that cup of coffee, uh, that's around 90, maybe 95 degrees Celsius. So uh, the, the temperatures that this probe will have to deal with, almost 14 times hotter than that uh, kettle which you're boiling for your coffee.